So in the first part, we've learned to use these simple icons, which are going to be your commonly used functions in this software. Now let's explore these options here, which are very, very interesting. So let's continue with library. Click on library. Here you have some pre-edit and pre-made things. If we double click on this map, you have some audio here. And uh, if we double click on, let's say, sound effects, you have some effects here. These are pre-made and uh, by default available in this software. So you can use it if you want to. Let's see what are those things here. So let's double click on this option. Let's try an another one. Let's say let's see what this this one is. Double click on it. It's just a still image as you can see it is written here that is a, an image. This is a video. Let's see what this part is. Untitled. Let's close this one and uh, let's review this one. Double click on this video. As you can see another pre-made template for us to use in our projects. If you want to use any of these pre-made things, you will have to just grab it and move it into the timeline. To insert these things on a specific place, let's say that we want to insert this template exactly at this point. Now, if we want to insert this template, we will have to split the video. So just simply go and click on this icon and the software will split the video in two halves now if we if you want to move this part into the timeline just go and grab this template and simply move it exactly here and release it and the software has imported this template let's play this video to ensure that the software did exactly this work As you can see, we have imported this effect into our project. Now let's import some audio. Let's just quickly choose one of the, these ones. Let's choose this track. To import it into the timeline, just simply do the common task. Just grab it and move it to the timeline. As you can see, when we are about to import a new audio, the software automatically makes a new layer for this audio. So just go and when the audio layer colors yellow, just release the track and that's all. As you can see, we have imported this audio into our project. Now let's play it. Let's close this audio map and uh, this is basically all from library. So you have here pr some pre-made templates and audio and other stuff which you can use in your projects. That, that's basically all. Let's continue with callouts. So callouts are one of the most interesting and useful options so if you want to add an arrow into your video just go and choose one from here with arrow you can obviously point out some things or emphasize something which you would like to show in your videos so if you want to add an arrow in your video just go and click on callouts first and choose an arrow from this list to see the entire options available here just go and click on this arrow click on it and you can see the all option which you can add to your projects. Let's say that I would like to add this arrow. Just click on it. First of all, I would like to emphasize that you will have to move the, the handle on the specific point of time where you want to add this callout. So as always, you will have to move a handle on the specific point of the time where you want to add some specific things. Let's say that I would like to add a call out or an arrow 
exactly at this point. Let's say that, that I would like to emphasize the button here. So just go and move the handle exactly on this point and choose an arrow from, from these options. I would, I would like to choose, let's say, this arrow. And as you can see, the arrow is now visible in our screen. We have imported arrow exactly at this point where, where we have handle. So again, the handle is very, very important in this software. Now, to edit this arrow, you can use these eight white points. So if you want to make this arrow bigger, just go and grab this point and resize the arrow. Of course, if, if you want to make it smaller, just move the point inside. If you want to make it wider, you can use these points. I think that, you're, that you get the point over here. So if you want to rotate the arrow, just go and, and move the cursor over this green point and just click on it and simply rotate it. Move the mouse around and you will rotate the arrow. If you want to change the shape of the arrow, go and click on this yellow dot and just play with it and uh, adjust it however you want. Then, if you want to move this arrow on a specific part of this screen, just go and click wherever within this rectangle. Let's say I would like to move this arrow over here. Just move the cursor within this rectangle and click with left mouse button and you can, as you can see, move the arrow wherever you want. Okay, now click away and you have adjusted this callout and the callout will be visible on the screen. Now, if you want to adjust the callout after you, let's say, do some work, do some editing, let's say that you would like to adjust it on a different way, you can always go here and you, as you can see we have a layout called call out and this is the call out we which we are editing right now to edit it again to have a chance to edit it again just go and click on this call out and as you can see you can edit it again so we have some other options here to edit you can choose the border color so let's choose some black color for border this is border obviously then you can choose the fill color, let's choose white one and as you can see we, we have changed the fill color. Then you have some effects, style, you can change the style of the arrow, let's say this one. As you can see we have changed the style of the arrow. Again select it. Transparency, you can change the transparency let's say the 75 percent uh, as you can see it's barely visible the transparency is basically the amount or the percentage of the visibility so if it's 75 percent that means that 25 percent of the arrow is visible if it's 90 percent transparency that means that only 10 percent of the arrow is visible here you can flip it, the arrow horizontally or vertically. That's pretty intuitive. And this is some additional options which I won't be dealing with then. So these are effects. Here you can again rotate the arrow, but for me the best way is just to go here on the green dot and just simply rotate it however you want and readjust it on your own way. Again, let's click on it and you can even write some text inside of the arrow. You can choose the font. Let's choose Arial Baltic and the size of the font and of course the color of the font. Let's choose a black color. And then simply go into this window and click inside of the window and write whatever you want. And as you can see, the text in, is then visible in the arrow. If we click away, you can see that the text is inside of the arrow. Again, click on the arrow. And I forget to 
make space between these two terms and now you can see the final effect. Here we have some additional options to fade in and fade out. That is basically if we, let's say, uncheck these two options. Just watch here. As you can see, the, the little shaded area is removed. If we again check it up, the shaded area is again visible. That means that the arrow is not shown on the screen immediately. It's shown by fading in. Probably the best way to explain this is just to play the, the animation. So let's play it. As you can see, it's slowly begin to be visible. Slowly disappearing. Now let's go back and click on this call out and let's remove fade in and fade out. And let's play it again. You can see it's immediately visible. It immediately disappears. So I think that you get the point here. Let's now repeat the process. Let's say that we want to insert another call out exactly at this point. So move the handle over here. And again, click on callouts and select the callout which you want to insert. I won't be dealing with these callouts because the process is the same. So let's insert one of these callouts. These are very, very interesting because it's the entire animation behind this callout. So let's choose this rectangle. So select the re rectangle. It will, of course, be inserted at this point because I moved the, the handle exactly here. And as you can see, this is the rectangle. Let's rotate it. So click on this green dot and rotate it like this and move it exactly here. Let's resize it. Click on this white dot and just resize it like this. And move it again to this text. Now let's play it. Let's move a few seconds back and just play it. So this, these five callouts are animated. Click on the callout again and we have some additional options. You can change the color of the border. Again, you can select some effects, the transparency, you can flip it. And this is the draw time. This is basically the time or the duration needed for this animation to draw on the screen. So if we increase the draw time, let's say, to two seconds, and let's play it again, you'll see the effect. The animation will be slower, obviously. Let's click again on the call out, and again, we have the fade out option, which we demonstrated before. If I check it out, you can see the shaded area disappeared and the, the call out will disappear immediately. It, it won't fade out slowly or disappear slowly. So this is all behind this call out. To, to delete the call out, just go here and select the call out and click on delete button and you will delete it. Click again on the call outs and on this arrow and uh, Let's demonstrate this one. So just, let's say, point it over here. Let's increase it. So just click on this white dot and increase this effect. Choose the color. Go and choose the, let's say, black color. And increase the draw time. Increase the transparency. As you can see, now it's more visible and uh, remove the or let's leave the fade out option on now just click on cursor and move it a little bit back and let's play this animation just click on play you can see this is the animation behind this call out it's very interesting maybe it's not so useful let's delete this call out Go in at the callout layer and select the callout and click on the delete button.